All right, hey, I want to do a quick review. Uh, something that I've created. I'm sure that uh, somebody else out there has probably done it as well. But uh, one of the things that I use out there in the field, uh, I guess you can call it backcountry, whatever you want to call it. But this is one of the things that I've created that uh, helps me out quite a bit. I just kind of wanted to share it. It's amazing, though, to me how much something like this costs when you add it all up. It's not cheap, I'm going to tell you right now. One of the biggest costs, of course, is the knife on this and the tools. But um, this here is basically what I call is a, it, it's basically a drop leg platform. Um, has everything I need on here to survive without my pack. Uh, it, it has variations to it depending on what I'm doing. But right now it's set up for more of kind of a search and rescue deal. But this right here, the platform, is excellent to have on you. Now, if you don't know what a drop leg platform is, it actually has a buckle that hooks onto your, this actually hooks right onto your belt. It's got a belt loop. You can see that belt loop. Hooks right into here, snaps in. These come around to your legs. So you have two on your legs, one hooks to your belt. I also like this so if I'm in the camp, if I don't want to have it on, I just completely just drop it and I don't need to have it on my leg. But what it's really for is to have on your leg and the convenience of everything that's on this. Or if you lose your pack for some reason, you still have this on your leg. Now, when I first created this, I thought it was going to be a problem and create chafing on my leg on long hikes. That actually isn't the truth. With these two leg straps, it holds it tight enough to where it doesn't move up and down and rub. And uh, I actually really, really like this design. And you can set it up however you want. This is a Molly system. And like I was talking about, about price, I'm really amazed at how much this actually costs. Uh, it's not cheap. It's $300 for this entire setup. Just this little thing right here is $300. Bucks. I know. It's, it's like, really? Anyway, I'm going to go over the cost, the function, what I use it for, and also its contents. Okay, so first I'm just going to start, like I started, you know, it's a, it's a drop leg platform. It costs about, roughly, I'm going to break it down, um, 18 bucks for the drop leg platform, which is a Molly system. It does come with this. I modified this a little bit. I shortened this up because I wanted it higher up on my hip because it was as tight as it could go. So I actually modified this so it works a little bit better for me. And you can also do that if you want. You can see I hand sew to the back. And I use certain types of sewing techniques, but anyway, we'll go into that. Um, this, like I said, this right here is twelve dollars. Is the platform? These two pouch. Well, let's go over. These two pouches are similar. Um, there's a couple different uh, manufacturers. There's Strike, Mod Gear, Phoenix Gear, and Spec Ops. Um, this is the combination of them all. I uh, some of them I picked up over time. Some of them I actually purchased. Um, acquired through friends in different areas, services, agencies. Anyway, uh, I've set this up in the configuration I wanted. I'm just going to go over the pouches and the cost real quick. Like I said, um, the spec offs and different ones. The grenade pouch is actually a strike, and it is $20 for this little grenade pouch, which is actually surprisingly expensive, but it really, really works good. And Blackhawk, of course has all the Phoenix gear, strike, and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, it's 20 bucks just for this grenade pouch. It's a little expensive. You can get cheaper ones. They're about 10 bucks, but I um, went with a little better quality. Uh, this flashlight container is right around 10 bucks. Same with this one's $10. This is an actual multi-tool container. This is a little more expensive, pretty high quality, 20 bucks. Um, I'll go over the gear here in a minute. But as far as pouches, that's the different costs of the pouches on this on this setup. <clears throat> um, let me go over gear just real quick. What I have on it is a mock-up. This is a mock-up of a Surefire, uh, around about 60 bucks for that type of a flashlight, a mock-up of a Surefire. I also have the Gerber Wave, which is about 80 bucks. Oh, this one's the Blast. I have a Wave too. This one's a Blast, um, right around about 80 bucks. Usually you can find them a little cheaper on sale. Down here, I have my fire starting equipment, fire steel, uh, of course, the good old cotton balls of Vaseline, my favorite fire starter. And usually, I might have a couple other things in there, 
uh, little stuff. Usually it's just fire starting equipment and sometimes I'll have uh, matches depending on where I'm doing, where I'm going. I usually just use my fire steel in the cotton balls. The Vaseline works. It works the best for me. Um, I usually keep some flagging tape on here. Um, you've seen my backpacking review. The stuff works really well. Find your way out. Uh, marking your way out. Marking things. You know, search and rescue. We mark tracks. We mark uh, a lot of different uh, evidence, things like that. Anyway, I, I keep that on there just for that. I'm actually getting low. I used a lot of it in the last uh, exercise. This is the grenade pouch. This one can vary a bit. This one actually has my mirror. I have it in the case so it doesn't get completely scratched up. But it's got, you know, your, your white side, I call it, and red side for your different uh, uses. I do have it, in a, like I said, in this container so it doesn't get all scratched up. Works out pretty good. I do have, uh, you might be thinking, why is he carrying dental floss? Well, dental floss is one of the best cordage I've found that you can get a lot of yards and it's very, very strong. Except for if you've ever done fishing, spider wire is also an excellent, excellent uh, cordage. And this one, like I said, is set up for more of uh, search and rescue. This isn't for me. This is for maybe the person I find. If you ever used an emergency blanket, it's about good for one time, one shot. That's it. And th these thin ones, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> not that great. It might stop the wind, hold a little heat in, but like. If you've done any research, of course, the less clothes you're wearing in these things, the better traps the heat, but the clothes on the outside. Anyway, maybe for a victim that I found, uh, that's why I said, you know, this is more search and rescue oriented. If I'm not carrying this, usually I'll put a platypus in here. Of course, so like I said, if I lose my backpack and everything, I can actually live off of this leg set up. And this platypus it basically, you know, folds all the way down. Very convenient. I put it inside this pouch and I'm good to go. I also add on that, I add the water filter. It's the 20 gallon Frontier. I also add that into there with that, uh, depending on what I'm doing, what activity I'm doing. But anyway, so all this stuff I carry usually, uh, like I said, on a search or search and rescue type setup. And uh, this cordage does work really well. But I also lanyard a lot of my stuff. You'll see on a lot of my videos that I'm like a, a lanyard obsessive. But anyway, all that stuff just goes right in here, folds up pretty nicely. I put it nice and tight, keep it on there, good to go. On here, this you have probably see my video on this also, so I'm not going to do a huge review on it. This actually, this knife actually comes to CSK2 Benchmade 1095 Carbon Steel, 80 bucks, and it comes with, which is really nice, Molly setup, so you can put a leather sheath on your Molly gear. I like that. I didn't think I was going to set it up ever on my Molly gear. So, I ended up throwing away the actual Molly thing. I don't know why I threw it. It was just getting into there. So, I had to get another Molly set up. And it just goes to the back of it, hooks it on your Molly system, and away you go. This knife has actually done me really well so far. Uh, I've done a couple of tests. You see my other reviews on it. I really, really like it. It's very sharp, works well. And you can change, like I said, your configuration. I did have a, a gear pouch. These are awesome. You can get these for about 15 bucks, 12 bucks. But these gear pouches, they have many different uh, compartments, tie downs, cinch downs, clips, little other compartments. Another big compartment, you can see that, a couple other pouches inside there. So you can separate all your gear. They call it a gadget pouch. Uh, works really well. Molly system again. I did have this on here one point in time. It was a little bit too heavy for me. You know, it goes back and forth. I've got a vest, too. I'll do a later review on. But this actually will go probably on the vest than it will on, on my legs. So I want to keep it halfway light just for that simple factor. If I've already tested it at this weight, it doesn't chafe when I'm hiking, and I really like it. Um, if you've got any questions on it, just go ahead and shoot me any comments. Let me know. But this thing actually works really well. Like I said, you're surprised at how much it costs, about 300 bucks. But uh, that's my review of my drop leg survival. You, know, you can call it drop leg survival harness if you want. Uh, I just call it my, my setup or whatever. But this works really well in drop leg survival. You have everything you need if you lose your big pack, and it's right there at your fingertips. Thank you from Central Oregon Survival Network.